Hello everyone, my name is Betty Orr and I'm a senior hunter and hunter equitation and hunter breeding judge and have been doing it for a long time as many of you may know. It's a, a great thing to, to have a judge's license. It's a lot of hard work to get it, but it's very rewarding. It is hard work and, and if you take it seriously, which all of us do, you know, it takes lots of hours, but you have some things you like better than others, and sometimes you have a pet peeve, or you see something that really does, doesn't fit into the picture. And I always try to think about the positive things that I like more than, than the ones that I don't like. I love a lovely horse that comes into the ring with a, with a plan in mind, he and the rider, and they look as if they're ready to go to work, and they're not touring all over the place. I think you should take the time that you need to get your horse ready to go on course, but, you know, I think the workman like uh, deal with the, a well-turned-out horse, clean, and the rider tidy and clean, start their job in a, in a positive manner with a really good pace to the first jump. I don't mean running to the first jump, but it, it is not a free jump. It's not one that you want to add out of the turn. Uh, you want to see a smooth round. I love to see a horse that jumps in great form, but I also like it to look like a hunter and that it's smooth. It's not sensationalizing judging. It's more, sometimes I put on my card, not a hunter because it looks more like a jumper type horse or is over jumping a little bit more than he should. Uh, smooth round with the pace even, uh, the corners, the turns, don't add out of the stride, out of the, out of the turn adding a stride because that, doesn't make the, the course look very smooth. It, the the t contest is to keep it smooth and the same rhythm. Um, with good form, great knees, uh, you, you want a horse that's very uh, happy about judging. Let's put his ears up and forward. He's doing his job well. Um, there's so many things you could pick up. You could say, oh, well, he swapped his lead. That's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe two steps and he had a great trip. You have to put that in in uh, comparison to what else is in the class. I don't like to see a horse going around with his mouth open. Sometimes you'll see one with the tongue out a little bit. That doesn't bother me if it's not a you know an erratic thing, but some horses have that little habit. But a horse that opens his mouth a lot, I think that's unsightly. A um, horse that is pulling too much, or one of my real sort of things I really don't like is a martingale that's way too restrictive. I'm a big believer in standard martingales, as my brother Bucky used to say, sort of standing equipment. But if a horse has to be so restricted, that really makes him look like he's jumping upside down. And I, I don't like that at all. No matter how good the trip is, that's not going to get the best score for me. And speaking of scores, uh, I did not start out judging with numbers. In this day and age, yes, we do need numbers. But when I don't have to give numbers, I judge, and I still judge that way even if I'm giving a number. I have a running tally. I have different columns. I've judged that way my entire life with the steno pad. I have 90s, 80s, 70s, and 60s, and it corresponds to the numbers that you might give. But I like to be able to compare my horses especially the two that are very, very close in their trips. And I want a little time to think about it if I can. But regardless, I remember what Mr. Linehan told me when I first started judging. He was an unbelievable person and judge um, who judged all the great horse shows, a fine, fine person. said, Betty, you'll never go wrong if you go to the quality horse. And I've used that word a lot in my thinking a quality of a horse is very special. And rather than I would get too long, I would just say this in the under saddle a little bit. Uh, I love to see a nice under saddle with horses floating along. And I don't like to see a horse that's being driven into the bit too much and you're trying to make him stride out. A horse should be a natural, but he also should be able to accept the bit in a light manner. In especially in pony classes sometimes when kids are little and they're just starting, they feel like they've got a circle and circle and circle till they get just the right spot. And I, I hope they, they don't take this as a criticism as on ponies, but sometimes in the beginner classes in particular, they want to make sure the judge can see them. And if they're not even in a bad spot, they're going to circle. And I just assume they wouldn't do that. 
Um, I don't know if this is too long, so maybe I'll stop right here, but it's been a pleasure, and thank you, and I hope something will hit home with people watching this today. Thank you.